my name is Jackson Brill. I'm a, a senior at the University of Colorado and uh, like to like to run, like to, to run in the trails in the mountains outside of town. And uh, um, yeah, I'd say who I am, it definitely centers around running. I did the, the 22K last year. This year I'm stepping up to the, uh, the varsity distance, doing the 50K. I had a great time last year. And I think the, the last 30K of the course that I haven't seen is gonna be similar in terms of um, you know, the beauty and stuff. Being in Boulder, we have a good crew of, of, of runners going out there, you know, a few, few fellow Rocky Mountain runners. Um, so yeah, it'll just be cool to, you know, be out there knowing, you know, a bunch of my friends are out there as well and getting to, uh, to share that start line with them and then um, share that finish line experience. It is a race, so I'd like to do well. I'd like to, you know, compete for the win. on the Continental Divide so, and, and also the Continental Divide Trail. Um, and then it's just, it just so beautiful, you know, you can see, you know, other ridge lines and you can see the ridge line in front of you. The quintessential, you know, Colorado high country experience. Running fast is a lot about relaxation, whether you're on an uphill, you know, a flat or, you know, a, a technical downhill. Relaxation doesn't mean it has to be easy, you know, you, like if, if you're on a steep uphill you're gonna, and you're running fast, you're going to be working hard. If your goal is to, to run as fast as possible, you want to be fast but relaxed. So I think running, you know, kind of as fast as you can, but still having it feel relaxed in a way, um, I think is, is, is important, you know, in terms of enjoying it and then also just being able to, to sustain that, that pace and effort. The race was uh, about everything I hoped it could be and more. I really enjoyed uh, the beauty of the course. The, the ridge line after you get to Jones Pass running along the divide was um, just so pretty and it was like the, the views of the mountains, I guess. I don't know what direction, but that way when <laughs> you're running on the ridge was just like they were pretty far away, but just the, the way the sun was hitting them and the colors. But then the second half of the course was it's so cool. When you're climbing that Bard Creek Trail, you're on like a super steep face that there's this little narrow trail whittled into. You felt more isolated, I guess, because at that point I didn't see anybody. I'm just feeling like this tiny little speck moving through the mountains, like the only human really around for miles, um, or at least it felt that way. racing perspective. It's really cool when, when you can run for four hours, like that's a long time. You know, oftentimes when you run for that long, something, something goes wrong for some duration of it. But for every time like, a, like an extended long run like that happens where everything just feels great the whole time, it's, it's just a really special feeling. And, My, I had a couple friends out there racing, and uh, my friend Tyler had the course record. It sort of felt like I was running with his ghost for a lot of it because I knew I was pretty close to his splits. So I was like, "Oh, Tyler's Tyler's right there!" Like, um, and I haven't seen him in a while, so it was just 
yeah, it's kind of cool to feel like I shared shared some miles with him, even though he wasn't there. But great, great day overall. Fun, fun hanging out with my friends at the start and finish line. Here we go, Jackson. See you at the finish. Yeah. Yeah, way to go, way to go, way to go. Thank you. Yeah. You want a sandwich? Being diligent about training and, you know, dotting those I's and crossing those T's, whether it's, you know, stretching or strength training or rolling out, um, or just, you know, getting your miles in. Uh, mainly that, I don't do much of the stretching or strength training or rolling out, but uh, that framework of what it takes to be a successful runner uh, is similar to, is like a good framework for me to also feel like I'm being a successful person. If I take kind of some of these principles that, that running's kind of taught me, um, you know, and take it to, to my homework, take it to my personal, you know, friendships and uh, I, I think that just, you know, bolsters success in all those areas and ultimately that I think that leads to more happiness. Um, so I mean, I, yeah, I, I mean, I enjoy it and, uh, and I think it, it, I think running helps me enjoy other aspects of my life better too. Who I am, I don't, it's a, just a, it's a hard question, but um, I like to read, you know, I, I, I like to, to study and, you know, learn things. I uh, like to, you know, spend quality time with, you know, people I care about and uh, say, you know, that's probably most of it. I like to bike and ski too. I like to scramble. Um, just, you know, you're, you're quintessential Boulderite, basically, not special at all.